Right, morning everyone. Fresh seafood is an increasingly precious thing. You got 18 there, sold and next. In Australia, governments have tightened quotas and fishing zones to protect fish stocks. We lost a lot of good fishermen. Um, they couldn't afford to stay within the industry. Australian fishermen are also contending with cheaper imported fish that may be caught illegally or with environmentally damaging practices. Fraudulent labelling can make consumers think they're buying an Australian product when they're not. UniSA marine ecologist Zoe Doubleday is working on a solution. So here we've taken a portion of this abalone shell which is made of calcium carbonate. By testing bones and shells of marine creatures for oxygen isotopes, these scientists are able to see which waters they're likely to have come from. We can track the provenance of a greater spectrum of marine life or a greater spectrum of seafood species and then we can help detect seafood fraud and keep illegal fishing under control. So far the test can determine whether an animal's come from cool or warm waters. It's very good at tracking animals from different latitudes, so say collected from the tropics and southern Australia. That will hopefully stop species farmed or caught elsewhere, particularly in Southeast Asia, being sold as Australian. The next challenge for researchers is to work out exactly how far east or west a fish is from, allowing regulators and customers to pinpoint the exact origin of that cat. It's welcome news for local fishermen. The more information we give to the consumer, the better it is for the consumer. And hopefully for global fisheries. Eric Twarczyk, ABC News, Adelaide.